I've placed several videos on gold bullion collecting uh, about a year ago on YouTube and I had a very nice response to these videos. Lots of views, lots of comments and lots of questions. So I would like to address some of the questions I've been asked. Um, some of them were really funny, uh, like what's your home address um, and so on. Very funny. But the most prevalent question was um, what do you recommend for us to collect? Uh, what kind of coins uh, should we collect? Uh, should, should there be Boolean coins, raw coins, certified, uh, uncertified, US coins, foreign, old, new? Uh, all, the, all of this is, of course, a matter of personal preference. Uh, but my goal here in this video is to share with you how I started this collection and what I learned about gold uh, collecting. Uh, my first coin that I purchased in 2004 was this one and I will always keep it. It's uh, 1903, uh, $2.5 Core Eagle. I bought it for less than eighty dollars maybe eighty five dollars and now this coin is worth about two hundred two hundred fifty dollars depending on its uh, condition on its state whether it's an MS or mint state whether whether it's AU or almost uncirculated uh, or uh, what have you I'm not sure about uh, how this coin would grade uh, in my opinion, this is a clean coin, but if I put all my money in 2004 and borrowed money and bought uh, coins like this, today I would be a very, very rich man because it went up almost uh, three times. So the same uh, goes for the gold bullion coins. All gold bullion coins are basically worth only what's gold is worth today. Uh, back in 2004 I bought some of these coins for $375. Can you believe it? Then it went up to $550, $600 an ounce. Now it's uh, about $1,200 an ounce. So I'd say I made up pretty well. Uh, some of these coins I bought for even $1,200. Uh, so my strategy is keep buying regardless of the price. So, so we were discussing the uh, certification and mint state of um, gold coins. I would like to show you one of my most expensive uh, coins. This is just like my first coin, 1903, uh, quarter eagle, exactly the same, but it has been certified by the NGC, National uh, numismatic guarantee uh, actual services uh, one of the most reputable and uh, one of the best coin grading companies there are um, actually numismatic guarantee corporation that's uh, the abbreviation and it's been graded as MS 64 so it has absolutely no wear and that's why it's MS and 64 for a uh, 107 years old coin is pretty good. The current price of this coin is about $1,500. So this little uh, coin is worth more than all the bullion uh, gold coins, and more than each of them, rather. Uh, although they have much higher gold content. So go figure what to collect. Some people collect certified US coins, some people collect gold bullion coins. Uh, to me this basically is not a collection. This is most uh, mostly preservation of wealth, uh, preservation of money. Instead of spending it somewhere else I buy a gold coin and hopefully I'll never have to sell them. But who knows? Uh, uh, this is a hobby and a great, great way to save money. Another point I wanted to make, the uh, MS 
uh, what is MS? Mint state. This is a grading system. It's called the Sheldon scale. It runs from uh, 0 to 70, and MS is uh, 60 to 70. So, uh, if you have this coin, it's probably not an MS 70. That's what I read somewhere. It's a great, great phrase. But I have a coin which is a PF 70 Ultra Cameo. It's a proof 70 Ultra Cameo 2006 uh, Buffalo, $50. So it means that this is an absolutely perfect coin in any way. It has absolutely no marks on it. It has a mirror uh, background, and Ultra Cameo means that uh, the contrast between mirrored and non-mirrored details are very very high so this is one of the best looking coins uh, that American Mint has ever produced in my opinion and um, uh, this coin carries a higher premium over the gold price uh, I got it pretty cheaply but I personally don't recommend buying such coins uh, unless you're a so to say coin connoisseur uh, because this is a beautiful beautiful uh, coin to look at uh, if you try to sell it it will always carry some kind of premium uh, so great great way to collect uh, now I'll, I'll, try, I'll try to show you what not to do in coin collecting uh, one of my friends gave me these three uh, certified uh, gold coins he said certified uh, but look who certified them national numismatic certification what is this uh, again national numismatic certification uh, the holder looks very unprofessional uh, inside there is some kind of a styrofoam uh, ridiculously looking holder uh, even their <laughs> barcode is uh, like a, I don't know, a bad copy of a bad copy. Uh, once again, National Numismatic Certification. What the hell is that? Uh, some people, uh, I guess, they just try to make an extra buck by slabbing uh, coins and uh, putting them up for uh, sale. So I got these three coins and I decided to really test are they certified? Maybe I'm missing something here. So I sent these three coins to the NGC, uh, the most, uh, along with PCGS, the most reputable uh, coin grading company in the world. And I kind of hoped that at least one of them would come in uh, MS certified. Unfortunately, as I suspected, none of them are even certifiable. Two of them are cleaned, and one of them has so much wear that they <laughs> didn't didn't reholder them, uh, so they basically didn't regrade. Uh, stay away from companies like this. Uh, there are many uh, companies. Uh, I'm not going to name them here offhand. I don't remember their names, but every day a new company like this uh, is coming up with a new way to cheat uh, the customer from buying really really good coins so stay away from those uh, collect whatever you like uh, as long as you're collecting regularly start small and buy 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 and goodbye thank you for watching